are there like code words and special jargon that you've developed that 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 seem interesting like might they might be interesting to others <laughs> oh okay we do have a great one so when somebody says something weird or there's a weird phrase mm. somebody will say oh my gosh that's a band name and so we have chalkboard walls in a lot of places in the building and one of them is filled with bizarre band names of all <laughs> these crazy things that people will come in and say and so we've had adults come in for tours and to meet with people and they'll say well i've got a band name and some of the members will be like sorry you're not a member here, so you can't write a band name up on the wall. <laughs> so yeah, we have that. I think one of the cool things really to hear is overhearing people talk through the process of nonviolent communication, and I don't think they know they're doing it. So oh. we have a Minecraft communications class, which is really fun. I When I first got to Embark, I was still working on my own de-schooling, even though my kids never went to school and I was mm. one of these rebel teachers within school. I got there and I thought, let's have this Minecraft class and we're going to build Pompeii and we're going to blow it up. And nobody wanted to do that in there. They really just wanted to play Minecraft together. So I like playing Minecraft and I'm playing with them. And then conflicts would arise, you know, so-and-so would spawn like 6,000 unlimited chickens. And then, you know, the whole server, server would lag out. And that was this incredible opportunity to practice conflict resolution within a game. Hmm. So now you'll hear them say things, and, you know, they'll say, well, you know, I have a need for peacefulness or I have a need for the game not to be lagging out, you know? And so is there a way we can navigate this together? And so that's, that's always great. We tell parents that really what Embark is, is a place to be in community with people and mm. to learn and grow about, about who you are and what it's like to be with other people. You can get all the academics. You really can. That's easy, mm -hmm. right? But learning how to collaborate and be in space with somebody that you really don't like and how, what that looks like. We are in an old home. So mm. our building was built in the 1790s. Wow. So it's this really cool old house in downtown Leesburg and people can walk into town and things like that. So it doesn't look like a, a school at all. And people have freedom to move throughout the building. But it's still, you know, we've got 29 people there, so you're not going to get your own room. So how do you navigate being in this space together? So it is kind of cool hearing that. We're very, very respectful for LGBT community, and we want to build more diversity in our community. So we had somebody recently that was really struggling with being in the space with somebody that he didn't like. And so he was in a, he ended up having a meeting with staff and his mom about this which is unusual we usually try and work it out in house but this was mm -hmm. you know bigger and so he was talking about how much he couldn't stand this person but he kept correcting himself to use the right pronouns mm -hmm. right so he was like i can't stand this person and then say said the wrong pronouns and then he fixed it and i thought oh my gosh <laughs> you know this is amazing you mm -hmm. know mm -hmm. that he's doing this yeah so yeah it's it does have its its own culture and it's interesting when our people go out into the world and, you know, when they graduate and move on and things mm -hmm. like that with this, these conflict, you know, negotiation skills that are just, you know, different. Right. We've right. had, you know, we've had kids that have come from school and they've begged for detention. They're like, just give me a detention because <laughs> I don't want to do a restorative circle. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. I don't want to talk about my feelings and needs and I don't care about their feelings and needs. Just give me the detention. I'll do the time and then I'll come back in and we'll pretend nothing happened. And we're like, Oh, Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Agentic Schools Vodcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. What makes education possible is the satisfaction of psychological needs, so that is what these schools have in common with all others. What makes a school agentic is satisfying those needs particularly well. I'm your host, Don Burr.